so today is Friday and I just got back from a walk with Coraline. It is another beautiful day. Coraline and I will be going on vacation next week, so that's really exciting. So today and I guess through the weekend, I'm going to be preparing for that. We leave Wednesday, so I plan on showing you guys what we're bringing with us specifically for her. She has never been on an eight hour road trip before, so it's gonna be really fun. I can't wait to show you guys what I'm doing, my little car set up for her, and what I'm packing for her. So that's gonna be a lot of fun, and um, I can't wait to show you. So here's the rest of the video, bye. Say hello to Coraline. Hello, Coraline. So cute. So cute. This is Coraline's first eight hour long road trip. She has driven, the maximum that she's driven ever is an hour and she does get car sick so I'm keeping that in mind when filming this video and I want you to keep that in mind so that if your dog gets car sick, um, these are the things that I'm doing. So the first thing that I bought, and I bought all this at Unleashed by Petco, is this hammock seat cover and it is really useful for me because it's machine washable and if she throws up all over the back seat of my car I can just clean this off and toss it in the washing machine when we get there so the reason I bought the hammock uh, seat cover is to give her as much space as possible in the back seat I wanted to cover up that space between the bench and the front seats so that, because she doesn't need leg room anyway that way she can stretch out and have to worry about her falling all over the floor so that said, I am going to be buckling her up into a seat belt, and so I bought this. She does, she has a seat belt harness already. Um, I don't have it with me; it's in my car. But she, she does. It's just a regular harness. It's got a chest pad on it and um, a clip in the back. So, with that, I'm going to be using this zipline car thing. Basically, you attach it from one end of the seat to the other and there's a carabiner hook that attaches to a seat belt thing and that way she can move back and forth uh, however she wants in the car so that'll be really good I do want her to have as much space as possible I want her to be as comfortable as possible because I know this trip is going to be kind of rough for her so hopefully she doesn't have that rough of a time but you never know right hey Okay, so the next thing I bought, and I only bought one of these, is a collapsible travel bowl. You want it to be collapsible so you can just stuff it in your bag or wherever, especially like if we go to the beach or go hiking or something, we don't have to click carry around a clunky uh, water bowl or anything. And since I'm not going to feed her on the drive, I decided to just buy one so that I, when we take pit stops I can just give her some water to keep her hydrated, of course. So that is really important. You could just bring a regular bowl if you want to. Next thing I'm bringing is the Holy Grail, Nature's Miracle. This stuff is so important and I will never leave my house without it. I have a bottle in my car right now, but I'm picking this up because it has the disinfectant and because we're renting this house, I really want to make sure that if anything happens, God forbid, we leave it the way we came to it and also um, my boyfriend and his family are bringing their dog with them so and he's older so this will be really handy in case he has an old dog accident so yeah this is my favorite thing ever so I actually haven't tried the disinfectant yet I usually take the advanced formula or the oxy formula but I'm gonna try this so that's cool next I have these grooming wipes now I'm also going to bring her shampoo so uh, she doesn't have to be uncomfortable if she gets really dirty. Um, these wipes are really are going to be good for me if she does throw up in the car. That way I can wipe her because she'll, she'll probably throw up all over her paws and her face will be really drooly. So these are going to be good for um, cleaning her up with that. It's hypoallergenic and fragrance free. Not that... I'm worried about that stuff, but it's just what I grabbed. I really like this Earth Bath brand, but 
These are going to be really useful. Hopefully, I won't have to use all of them, but we'll see. The next thing, um, I'm just bringing this brush. She doesn't have a pin brush right now. She just has like a, a wide tooth comb and a slicker brush. Um, because she's got really long hair and I don't, I only want to bring one product, I went with the pin brush instead just for simplicity's sake. I like these and her hair is long enough now for me to be able to use them so I just picked one of these up. It was on clearance so figured why not. And if she does get wet because I think we're going to be going to the beach and she'll go swimming for the first time ever. If she does I will film it. So she will be she will need to be blow dried out if she does get wet and when you blow dry a poodle you have to brush them out as well because they can get matted so that's going to be really important for me to remember. Okay, now we're getting to the fun stuff. Coraline has no water toys. She has a couple of like stuffed toys, which I'm going to get to, but because we're going to the beach, I decided to pick her up some water toys. This is just a amphibious bumper. It just it's it floats and it's got this little thing here, so we can play fetch with it. Like you saw in the last video, Coraline really loves to play fetch, so this will be fun for her if she'll go into the if she'll go into the water so this will be cool and if she doesn't we can still use it to run around on the beach and I also bought her this ball this prickly little ball this floats too so hopefully I don't lose it but if I do it's okay I'm also gonna bring a frisbee which I don't have on hand right now and start to build her drive to catch frisbees because I would love for her to be a frisbee dog so that'd be cool and then I have, these are really, really, really important for every dog, but especially for mine. She's going to need something to do, something to keep her occupied while we're gone, because we're definitely not going to spend all day with her when we go out to dinner or if we go do some kind of activity where dogs aren't allowed. These, I got some cow ears. I also have a kneecap chew thing. This might be a little small for her now, but if she messes with it too much, I'll just take it away and a rib. So uh, a couple of these things and bully sticks definitely also. I've got a, I've got a package of these but these are going to be really important. I just want to keep her occupied. I don't want her to be bored. A bored dog is a destructive dog so um, not that she's very destructive at all. It's just I would prefer to avoid the possibility. Next thing I'm going to bring are toys. Her regular toys. These are her favorites. This is Lamb Chop. As you can see, it's really dirty. She's had it since she was a baby. Um, she sleeps with it at night. She likes to squeak it in the morning sometimes, and it is well loved. So I'm gonna bring that for her as her little comfort toy. <laughs> I'm also bringing the obvious stuff. So treats. I like to use these Raw Boost mixers. They're uh, one calorie per piece and they, dogs love these things. I use them in my classes all the time and Coraline doesn't like the chewy, soft, stinky treats that I usually use. So these are really good because they're freeze dried so she gobbles them up and loves them. So that's all that I'm bringing with me. Oh, actually no. Um, another thing that you need to remember to bring with, your, with you when you travel with your dog is a first aid kit. Now I don't have one put together yet. I have a bunch of stuff scattered everywhere so I haven't put one together but basically what I'm gonna put in there are some gauze pads, a like sports wrap thing, a self-adhering sports wrap thing because you can't use an adhesive bandage on a dog so just in case something does happen and she gets hurt I'll be able to, to bandage her up that way. I'm gonna be bringing some antibiotic ointment like Neosporin and um, Benadryl like children's Benadryl that's safe for dogs but I'm not gonna use it without consulting a vet first. I'm gonna make sure that I have a number when I get there, but it'll be nice to have on hand just in case. And also, Dramamine. Dramamine is probably the most important thing that I'm going to be bringing with me on this trip because, like I said before, she gets car sick, and it is safe to give dogs, so I will be giving it to her at the start of our trip. I have to give it to her an hour before we leave, and we're leaving at five in the morning. So that means I'm gonna be up at four in the morning with her. I'm gonna. Make sure she takes her pill. I'm not going to feed her. 
at all until we get there. We'll probably get there around noon, so she will have a very late breakfast and an early dinner the night before we leave, so that it lessens the chance of her getting an upset stomach. I've done this before with her and it does work, but she does still kind of dry heave. So I'm gonna be keeping an eye on her and of course giving her lots and lots of water and we're gonna be taking a break every couple of hours so that I can walk her around and let her get her land legs back. So that is what we're bringing. I will definitely be vlogging our trip and showing you everything that we get to do. Hopefully we can do some really exciting things and I'm just really looking forward to this trip. So. I will see you in the next video. Bye!